So somebody is coming out of some type of legal situation, a court situation that they could have been dealing with. Now, this could have been a lawsuit. And they're receiving some type of unexpected income. A final decision was made on their behalf. And then we have courtship. So this could be someone that's going towards a relationship or somebody that they want to date. Now, this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Now, this could be them going towards someone that they want to be in a connection with, a relationship with. Or this could be them finding out that somebody stayed attached to them because they were expecting to receive some type of unexpected income after this lawsuit, this settlement. Like somebody that they're in a relationship with is it's extended, like holding their hand out, waiting to receive some type of benefit or some type of um, money from this person's settlement. Now you have false person and then you have thoughts. So whoever this false person is, is someone that they could have been dating or in a marriage, a connection, a relationship, situationship, something like that. And they could have tried to hold this person up for like a long time. While they've watched them fight this legal situation with toil and labor being here and then you have imprisonment. Now this false person could have paid for them to be stuck in a legal situation. And they sat back and watched that person suffer. They've watched that person go through a lot of poverty or financial hardships. And um, if they're receiving some type of unexpected income or getting any money back from this situation, this false person is someone who is expecting to receive some type of income from this. It's like they paid to have that person stuck in this situation. Now that they're coming out, they want some of this money that this person is getting back after putting in or losing a lot of money fighting or working hard to get out of this imprisonment like feeling stuck so we have mature man so whoever this person is, this is someone who definitely has matured throughout this whole ordeal. This could have went on for a long time, whatever this legal situation is. Now they could have always thought that this false person or the person that they were attached to had something to do with this. You have self-worth, healthy, and then heartbroken. Then we have Leo. You could be a Leo. One of these people could be a Leo. You have a toxic family member. The truth was never supposed to get out. And then we have Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. One of these people could be a Capricorn. If this isn't a relationship, this could be a toxic family member or... This was a relationship and a toxic family member um, was involved, like helping this false person. Whoever the person is that's coming out of this situation after fighting it for so long, they're hurt. It's like they're heartbroken. The truth about what took place behind the scenes between these two false people 
which could have been a family member and an ex or somebody that they were in a relationship with. It was just never supposed to get out. But them finding out the truth and it hurting them, it helped them to realize their worth. It helped them to regret the actions that they took in the past. Yeah, somebody is definitely regretting um, whatever they did, whoever was sneaky in this situation. Because they, yeah, they wanted to have that person stuck. And they could have gotten desperate and like paid somebody to make a false report on this person or have them fight in a legal situation that they knew would have them waiting for a long time before they could move on. This is someone that is very like cold hearted, devious. They felt like if they could watch this, you know, make this person suffer and they would lose a lot financially, that person would never be able to move on in life. They wouldn't be able to move on from them. If this is a connection that another person knew this person that have came out victorious was moving on from. And this could be way before they've moved on from this person. This false person just knew. They knew something was going to take place before it happened and they tried to prevent it. This could be divine timing. If they knew that this person would be in and out of cycle with them, moving on, starting a new venture, um, getting on the right path, they felt like they would be able to hinder that in a sneaky and deceptive way. Yeah, they knew that that person was walking away. You have Aries. You could be an Aries. One of these people could be an Aries. You have influencer, hidden enemy, and then a karmic soulmate. So somebody did not know that they were attached to karmic soulmates because whoever this toxic family member is this is definitely a karmic soulmate whoever this this person is that they were in some type of connection with this is a karmic soulmate but these were hidden enemies people that they would least expect would stoop this low to like have them stuck have them feeling trapped so they would not be able to move forward in life you have gold digger. So one of these people were out to get money from this person. They were using this person. This was a karmic feminine energy. Yeah, but it's like they've only bought a lot of burdens to that person. Whatever they were expecting to gain, they've watched this person deal with a lot. And if they've matured throughout this time, throughout this process, they're leaving whoever this false person is like out in the cold. It's like they're expecting to receive something, but they don't know that this is them in this poverty energy. This has helped someone to release a lot of mental anguish, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, depression, and they're in a more healthier space. Even though they went through a lot of karma, they're definitely realizing why they went through a lot of karma. You have Libra. You could be a Libra. One of these people could be a Libra. You have haters. So these two people are... Um, they're hating on something. Yeah, this, this is someone who found out that you're their twin flame. These are people that need to move on or they've helped them reevaluate everything that happened in the past. 
while trying to have them stuck and they realize that they need to move on from whoever these these people are that are haters so you have a karmic masculine whoever this toxic family member is they could be a karmic masculine or karmic feminine energy take it where it resonates but there's two different people here that definitely knew about the twin flame journey and they knew that whoever your twin is would be ending out of cycle and they would be going towards a whole nother direction but they felt like they could make that person like wait they could keep that person isolated they would stop them from getting on the right path yeah they feel betrayed but this was an ending that could not be stopped could not be avoided whether they tried to physically have that person stuck or not this was going to end out because this was a lesson that this mature man whoever your twin is needed to learn so they were just helping them learn a lesson, but they didn't see that this, this would be the outcome. Them maturing, realizing their worth, reevaluating everything, and still choosing to make changes in their life so they could move forward. They didn't expect for them to find out that you're their twin flame. Yeah, they wanted to keep this a secret. This was supposed to stay hidden, but somebody definitely knew about this hidden knowledge. One of these people could read tarot. And they were getting readings on whoever your twin is. These people started watching you or they they found out about you after you said something to your twin about something. They found out that you was, you're someone that is very intuitive. Now, you could have knew some type of hidden knowledge. You could have knew that you were a twin flame. This person is your twin. And um, they were using different tactics to make sure that that person did not come around you. They didn't communicate with you. They would just be so burdened and overwhelmed with a lot of unexpected responsibilities, things through in their face that they did not expect to deal with. But they didn't know that this person is someone who planned on, always planned on making the right decision or they always make the right decision at the right time. And these are times that whoever these false people are least expect. So they didn't expect for them to, as I say, mature, find balance in this situation. There would be a solution to this um, problem. They didn't think any of this would take place. They didn't, they didn't expect for them to take it the way that they're taking it. This is someone who have waited patiently. They've been very calm. They've gained a lot of self-control during this process. And this has helped them to stay grounded. If your twin is watching you, you're giving them some type of strength, some type of inspiration. Yeah, because they're in love with you. You make them happy. So at a time that they were going through something negative, they were thinking about you. And this helped them to stay optimistic about this whole situation. Think positive about whatever they were going through. You have the five of wands.
We have the Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody was definitely trying to, you know, trap another person to make a, make sure a person was, uh, would take care of them. Keep providing for them, giving to them. And they thought they won up to whoever your twin is. But in reality, they created a lot of chaos and conflict for their self, for your twin. And this has helped them to realize that they have to walk away from whoever these people are. They have to end out a cycle. This made them more determined to end out this cycle. And these are people that feel defeated. Now, somebody was expecting to get a whole bunch of money because whoever this emperor is, this is your twin. You have the Ten of Pentacles. They were looking into your twin's life. And they felt like if they could stay ahead of, you know, being in the knowing about what was going to take place, they would be able to control whatever moves your twin made. It's like they had to complete this cycle first before they could even stand in this emperor energy to inherit this ten of pentacles. Establish long-term success or set a strong foundation for their future. This is someone who definitely needed to mature. They needed to find out whatever was hidden that they did not know while they were trying to keep them blocked off from knowing all of this, knowing who you are to them, knowing that there are steps that they have to take to complete this cycle out. They're preventing them from whatever they thought they were going to receive. It's like somebody thought that they could keep your twin in some type of illusion. And they also felt like by keeping you and them separated, they could stay in an illusion, not knowing that separation is an illusion. You and your twin are always connected. Despite the physical distance. Yeah, you have the Ten of Swords popping out in the reverse. Somebody definitely went through some type of recovery. It's like they healed. And if they felt like this was a problem, that they would, you know create for your twin without them knowing this problem was resolved it's like they've risen above whatever this was you have the five of pentacles and then the nine of swords yeah This could also mean, as I said, while being attached to whoever this energy is and they were trying to prevent the ending that was inevitable, they still went through a lot of hardships. This could have had your twin going through the dark night of the soul, um, stressed out because if this false person solely depended on them to provide for them. Now they're in need. Now they don't have any resources, no one to turn to. They're realizing there's no equal give and take. They're they, they realize they were just stuck in a situation, just giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. Which led them to this nine of swords energy. It just overwhelmed them to the point where they had to walk away from this person. They had to leave that person out in the cold. This is someone who does not want to work and they weren't willing to help whoever your twin is out of the situation that they were in. 
It's like they really showed them that they could not meet them halfway, especially when times get hard. But this is someone who did not have anything because of what they did to your twin. If they literally paid someone to create some type of legal situation because they were, you know, that desperate to make sure they could keep that person attached to them, providing for them. They ended up taking a financial hit, like losing a lot financially. Your twin was stripped financially. And it's like both people were dealing with the five of pentacles. Yeah. It's like this went right back to them. And they realized whoever this false person is, this is someone who did not have anything to offer them. It made them more frustrated. Now, this could be someone that, uh, yeah, it made them realize this is someone that's disloyal. They can't trust this person. This person is there. They, they realize they're not making any progress. They don't see any growth being attached to this person. So why not separate and be by their self? Focus on their self. Now, whoever this false person is, this, this is the type of person that will, you know, come to you with some type of goal or some type of idea that they want to get off the ground, but they never put in the effort. They never put in the work. It's just all talk. So they wanted your twin to believe that they, you know, was getting ready to do a certain thing. But it never got done. It's like one minute they would be they would be focused on this 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 goal that they want to get off the ground and then within the, the next minute they're focused on something else. Yeah, they weren't taking action. This is someone that was very childish and they didn't have anything to offer. They felt like by constantly telling your twin that they would you know, do this or do that, they could keep them attached to them. And they would just have these unrealistic expectations. Oh, that person is getting ready to get this business off the ground or that business off the ground. Or this person is getting ready to work at this job or work at that job and it never happens. This could have took place for a long period of time as long as they were attached to this person. But once they went through this, this overwhelming event, they felt like they were, they was by themselves. Yeah, which helped them definitely reevaluate a lot. It helped them realize a lot of things that was said to them that they didn't pay attention to. So this could have been different people over time have told them like, hey, um, you know, this is not the type of person that you should be in a connection with. That person is not um, It's like basically saying this was a false person. That person is never going to get that business off of the ground or people were constantly throwing it in their face like, hey, I thought, you know, that person was getting ready to open this business or work here, or work there. And they were just stuck realizing. Yeah, that all of the, that this person was someone that was, this is like broken promises. It just made them more and more upset. And this could have made them very guarded with the King of Swords. It's like this person was behind the scenes planning to rob or set up another person. 
and it backfired. If this wasn't robbed or set up another person, this could have been trying to like steal, scheme, scam, um, do some type of fraudulent activity. Try to get different things and, you know, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is name. This was definitely some type of criminal activity. And they would be able to get this person to come back towards them or something like that. Now, they could have been trying to persuade this person to set somebody up, steal from them, rob them or something like that. But this was some there was some type of setup. Or some type of plan with the two of wands and the seven of swords to set somebody up that has their own stability. This person is, you know, they, they provide for their self. This could be a mother figure. Or this could just be someone that is like a business owner. Someone that has a stable career, a stable foundation. Yeah, they were planning to set someone up, steal from another person. And this could be the reason why they took a big financial hit just for what they were trying to plan for someone else. This is sad. Yeah, this is someone that was definitely, as I say, they know that you're this person's twin. They were behind the scenes trying to plan some type of setup, like to set you up some type of way. If you're someone that's this queen of pentacles, um, they were watching to see what it is that you had. Or as I say, they could have been trying to use your name, do different things that is um, illegal. This is someone who thought that they were going to find an easy way out of a problem. Because in their mind, they felt like that person would have this Ten of Pentacles being attached to them. But they're in the five as long as they're attached to that person. Whoever this false person is, they have a financial curse attached to them. This could be someone who's always scheming, scamming, trying to set up people. They're stealing from people. This is someone that's just very dishonest. They don't do anything honest. They're not willing to get out and work an honest job or, you know, do something positive to manifest what they want out of life. They're always scheming. They're always throwing rocks and hiding their hands. They're always trying to figure out different ways that they can do something deceptive and get away with it. We have ghosted. And then you have reconciliation. So if your twin ghosted you, this is someone who definitely wants to reconcile with you now that they have made major changes in their life. A cycle is over. And they're no longer attached to this person. This is someone that they're guarding their self from. Now this, whoever your twin is, they could have been single for a long time. Yeah, they could have been single for a long time, but with Crossroads being here, they were indecisive about their worth. Them being able to manifest a better connection that they, than they were in with this false person. So they went through a lot of anxiety, but it's like they've overcame this. 
as I say, they've released mental anguish. This is someone who realizes their worth. We have the, whoever this ex is, this person is stressed out. They're going through a lot of anxiety, mental anguish. Yeah, because they're having a lot of money problems. This person only created obstacles, a storm in their life. Yeah, at a time that they did not expect it. This was something that was unexpected. Like, they didn't expect for your twin to walk away from them. They didn't expect for them to reevaluate all of these broken promises, all of these unrealistic expectations that they had about them. Yeah, this is someone who, oh, I'm done. This is someone who definitely thought that they would be able to seduce this, seduce whoever your twin is. Like, whoever this false person is, this is someone that was, like, off into something that was, like, love spell, sex magic, different things like that. And they've been trying to, like, get guide that person towards them um, through the dream state or something like that. Yeah, they're trying to get them to, you know, come towards them and, and be intimate with them again. But whoever your twin is, like they feel too betrayed. They're definitely looking back on a lot of things that they have provided and gave to that person and they didn't get anything out of it. Somebody thought that they would be able to use some type of magic to control your twin's mind. If they were trying to, you know, use psychic attacks to throw this person off mentally where they would be able to control them, this caused a spiritual awakening. And as I said, they went through the dark night of the soul. Which has helped them to make the changes that they have made. Yeah, it has helped them gain a lot of self-control. It has helped them, as I say, be more patient with their self. This is someone who plans on reaching out to you. If they found out you're their twin, they, they waited to reach out to you until all of this was over. This was definitely a third party karmic situation that they had to end out or get out of. Yeah. There's definitely a sacred union that is supposed to happen between you and your twin. You and them, as I say, you and them have this psychic connection. Um, the separation is only like an illusion because you and that person are always connected, but they want to have this physical connection. And everything is happening how it's supposed to go with divine timing being here. Everything is unfolding naturally. You have honest communication and let go of the past. So yeah, this is someone who is getting ready to reach out to you after releasing the past 
and they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. This is someone who wants to rekindle the connection that you and them had in the, fa in the past. Now, you and that person could have been developing a friendship with friend zone and best friend being here. And they didn't know that they were around a lot of people that they could not trust. People that they needed to move on from, walk away from. That was only keeping them like stuck, hindering the process, the path that they're supposed to be on. Whatever steps that they have been taking, they're being guided towards you. Now, this could be someone that is planning to reach out to you during the holiday, the next holiday that's coming up. Whatever you said to your twin in the past, this was, um, it was things that they needed to find out on their own. It's like they're on this past life healing journey. Whoever the people are that they were in this cycle with, that they've been attached to, these are things that they needed to like see for their self so they could gain awareness. This is someone who needed to want to expand their consciousness, their awareness. They needed to want to go within. Yeah, so it's like, as I said, the separation is only an illusion because you and that person are always connected, but the separation took place so that they could heal you could have needed to heal as well with healing se separation being here yeah in order for there to be a reunification a lot of things needed to be released vibrations needed to rise Yeah, and they needed to clear out, both you and this person needed to clear out energy blocks. And now that, you know, all of these things have took place, they're being guided back towards you. Because they want to rekindle the connection that they have with you physically. 